Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, a big thank you to all of my supporters who have been around. Um, I'm getting close to 300 subscribers now, if I haven't hit it already. So um, that's exciting. And I appreciate you guys following me, watching my videos, and giving me those thumbs up. Um, if you're new, hopefully you'll enjoy this video. You need some tips on meal planning. That's what we're doing today. So I use my Super Mom Classic Size Dashboard Layout. This is last week. I did the Glam Girl um, spread. So we are planning for the week of September 23rd through the 29th. And this is my three week rotation. Um, I'm gonna do another recipe card with you guys today. This is the one I did last week, the meatball casserole. So I'm just gonna put another one on the back here. So we'll do that shortly. Um, the first thing I need to do, and I actually forgot to get my graph paper. So let me find that. I've really got to stop moving things around because I am, I move things to try to be efficient and then I forget where I put them. Anybody else do that? Yeah, that's not a good page. Yeah, I'm constantly moving things around, changing things up, and then I forget where I put stuff. So, there's a little, one of my little faults there for you. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward through this part. You guys, have, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I, cover this page up so I'll fast forward through that and I'll be right back okay I cannot wait until January till I can start using the homebody planner because it is this left side of the homebody layout um, is almost identical to the way that I draw mine out so um, what I'm gonna do here if you, of course, have watched any of my other videos, I'm going to just draw my normal checklist. Um, I'm going to fast forward through all that, but let me show you what I use to do that. I use my journaling stencil, and then these two clear stencils are check-off boxes. They come together um, in a package, and then I use the green, the green and the purple come together, so I use the green one. Um, those are called journaling stencils, all made by the Happy Planner. So I'm going to fast forward through this part, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now you see why I don't normally use the squares. I use the circles because my squares are like all wonky, but it's okay. Um, I think what I'll do while I'm on a roll with the fast forwarding is I'm going to go ahead and do my circles for my checklist for my ingredients over here. So I'll fast forward through that and then we will get to decorating. All right, that part is done. So let's decorate the fun page. I don't know why I call it the fun page because it's always got the total amount that we spent on here, but it's fun to decorate. So I have a fresh new sheet of wax paper. Um, this is my old one and I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's missing a lot of the wax. So it is good to change out your wax paper every so often. So what I thought I would do for my flowers this week is pull out the trusty Fun Florals book. And I want to use these. These are giving me fall vibes. Of course, here we're still in a thousand percent humidity in 95 degree days, it seems like. But I'm probably exaggerating a little bit. But it's still hot here. It's still summertime. But fall is coming. So if we can just get through hurricane season, then we can enjoy some nice cool evenings. Um... I'm loving the colors in here. These aren't 100% fall colors, but they are like borderline summer fall. So I thought I would use these to 
um, to decorate this side and I think I'm going to put this one down here so let's go ahead and do that now I want to make sure that I don't cover up my list over here okay and I'll trim off that excess I'm gonna trim this one different to try to save that flower to make it look like a whole flower straight down here And then I'll cut this part off. Okay. So that's a good start there. And I thought what I could do is come back up here with the similar one. If I can get it off the page. So this one will go up here. And I think that'll be pretty. I just want to keep it off of my checkbox, which I think is going to happen. So, and I think I'm going to cover up the punch here, the little hole, and just um, cut that out with my exacto knife. I think it'll be cuter to do it that way. Okay, so now I'm going to come along the bottom with some of this that I have left over from the top. Okay, and then I think I'm going to take the ones that I have left over from the bottom and put them at the top. And I'm probably just going to leave my check boxes open like they are for now. Um, I do remember seeing in here, I think it was this one or the other big one. They had the shopping list that are in the essential planning book. But I want to say one of them had green, which would match this spread pretty well. Yep, right there. So we can put this up here. We'll just get us a colorful box to put that in. Um, now where's my book of colorful boxes? So now see that's green. I don't think I'm going to find a colorful box to put that in. Oh, maybe I will. Right here. Okay. So this color pinkish stuff color <laughs> matches the flowers up at the top. So we'll put our shopping list inside of here. So that's pretty and then I'll need a totals box for down at the bottom so um, let's go ahead and do that all right so let's get a totals box and I think I'm gonna do opposite so I'll use like a try to find some kind of teal that'll match and I think this matches pretty decent we'll put that down there stick it down here okay let me grab my household sticker book if 
if I can find it. Hmm. I have too many sticker books too, y'all. There it is. And get the little dollar sign out of here. Right there. Because last week I drew in my dollar sign and it just, it wasn't as cool. Okay. Now let's move on to this side. And I think I'm going to be a little different than normal and I'm going to put this flower down here at the bottom. Just because I think these flowers are gorgeous. And since I don't cook on Sundays, this will work out perfect. Okay. Let's cut these off and use them around the edges. Okay, so we'll put this one down here. And this little green can just go right here. Okay, so decor on this side is done. Now, I've got a new recipe for y'all. I had some of you, um, Tacoa and Allison, y'all let me know if you liked the meatball casserole. Um, as of the time I'm filming this, we have not made it yet. So, I will have to let y'all know on another video whether or not that was a hit. Um, my kids love the meatball subs, so I'm sure they'll like the meatball casserole. But I found this, um, beef tips and noodles. Even though the picture has mashed potatoes, I thought um, this is very similar to what I call stroganoff. So I already know how to cook it basically, but I do want it on a recipe card. But we're gonna be cheaters this week and I'm gonna show you guys just a very simple way to put a recipe on your recipe cards. So I'm gonna use my paper cutter and cut out this recipe. Actually, I wanna make it a little bit smaller. Now these recipes I got from allrecipes.com. So I did sign up for allrecipes.com. So check that out if you're interested. And then look, how easy is that? <laughs> That's just pretty much cheating, but it is what it is. And I'm gonna do it. Because sometimes we just don't have enough time to decorate every single thing. So I'm gonna use my Tombow tape runner and just tape this down being really sure to get close to the edges and honestly y'all you don't have to do like a solid line it doesn't take that much of these tape runners to make something stick so you could just do like a random random little dots if you don't want to waste your tape runner and then I always put one in the center so now we're just going to figure out where this would go best and I think I'm probably just going to cover up the ingredients and directions headers so there and we can um, go in and decorate this um, there are some I noticed in I think it's the brights sticker book there are some recipe stickers and I really hope that this is indicative of a recipe sticker book because that would be great. So maybe what you'll do is take some of these stickers and just kind of put some little baking icons around the page. I think that would be cute. So let's see. You could actually hold down your corners with some stickers. 
so I think that's cute. Put a little spatula there. And what else do we have? There's a crock pot. One of my favorite kitchen tools. So we'll just throw the crock pot up here. And maybe one more. A spoon. Oh, there's already a spoon up here. Let's put the spoon back. Let's see. How about a frying pan? And we'll just throw the frying pan over here. So there, look. It's decorated. It's cute. But it didn't take me 20 minutes to do. Okay. So... I'm going to, again this week, put my meals down here, list my ingredients here, and then I will take this sheet to the kitchen, check off the ingredients that I already have, and um, anything that I have not checked off, I will put on my grocery list. And then this is for my list for household items, like I just bought socks, um, toothbrushes, mouthwash, things that my boys needed. So I added this on my list for last week. This is for my total. So I'm not gonna fill all this out. Um, sometimes I feel like that's just kind of redundant on my videos. Um, you guys let me know in the comments if you prefer me to fill out my meals. This week um, we are going to do this recipe. We're gonna do spaghetti, Salisbury steak, um, grilled pork chops, and steak sandwiches. So those are all things that are on my rotation. And then I just added my extra meals down here at the bottom. So y'all let me know in the comments if you would prefer me to fill out the actual meals and ingredients. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing it this way and filling it out off camera. So let's put this back into my planner. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your meal planning. And, oh, and it's helping you. I need to cut out this right here where I put a sticker over top of my little punch so let me do this real quick I love this little slice tool I keep saying that but I really do let's see if I got it good enough yep okay so now let's put it back in my planner and I got this little cutting mat at Sam's Club if anybody's curious it came in a pack with my scissors I got these two pair of scissors um, this it came with a little paper cutter and this is a paper cutter it's pretty flimsy though honestly it's like not very high quality so it can be a backup and it also came with an exacto knife and some um, refills so, I'll put this back in here, and then I'll put my recipe card in. And I'm just doing my recipes under main dishes for now, because I don't know if they're actually favorites or not. So, I'm really liking my meal planner. I think it's working out very, very well for us. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yours. So here is what the finished week looks like. And I hope you guys have a great week. I will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.